uh, Cap Cap. I wanted to show the still on side ruins to my Diglett. Who knows? Maybe it'll awaken some latent artistic talent, right? Still on side stadium? Alright. Well, I imagine this is like a ground type gym. Fighting, maybe? Hey there, thanks for rolling by and having a chat with your mate, the ball guy. That bag on your back was looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special Pokemon ball. Heavy ball. Pokemon ball is better at catching very heavy Pokemon. Is that new? Heavy balls rock and roll at catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? I'm a big fan of heavy Pokemon, and this is a great Pokeball for you. Pokemon just full of surprises, don't you think? Let's see here. Gym Challenger, you're going to apply to the... Yeah, I am. Head to the change room and change your uniform. Then go to the gym mission room. This gym is cool. It's a nice type gym. Ha. <laughs> go number 229. You guys still haven't figured out what that, uh, what that number represents. The amount of games you lost, White Fang Lieutenant Band. You're kicked from the academy. <laughs> Allow me to explain the gym mission for Stow on Side's gym. Complete the mission. You need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal. One of these cups. Wait. <laughs> While trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit about how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate the control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate to the left. Make the cup spin to the left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now have a good time. Watch world spin as you try to reach the goal. What type of gym is this? Is this a fighting type gym? Nobody told me what kind of gym this is yet. Giant fish on the floor. Fish on the floor should fish. Jesus. Fist on the floor should tell you. Well, well, we'll swap. We'll put in. We'll put in. Normal. Hey, like a professional. You look pretty dizzy. Are you sure you can battle in that condition? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can tell my Pokemon what to do if I'm dizzy. Gym Trainer Ian. Stuffle. Still don't know if this is a normal or fighting type gym. I'm pretty sure Stuffle is... Normal fighting. God, why is Dreadnoughts leveling up so much? Maybe because I had her in the lead for so long. Beware. This thing is tanky. Oh boy. Because you're using a physical attack? Well, I don't have any special attackers. None that are super effective. Like, I don't have any Psychic-type Pokemon. Which would be... 
Damn thing has fluffy. Jeez. Yeah, because if I had a psychic type Pokemon, I imagine they, that they would burn through this gym. Or through that particular Pokemon. I'm dizzy. I know I'm completely dazzled. What an incredible battle. Hashtag bars. What does this do? Oh no. I won't. We can heal Corviknight right here. Corvi Corvisquire. I can't wait for him to fucking evolve so I can stop calling him the wrong thing. Damn, I went all this way for nothing. Not even using a full team for max a XP gain. <laughs> Didn't you harp on me for using <laughs> for using uh the, the XP share? Or was that somebody else? Gym trainer clear. Far fetched. Galarian far fetched just looks so pissed. He's like fuck with me. I find Force XP sure to be dumb. Well, there's no way we can turn it off. I'm sorry. Use Detect. That's like Protect. Farfetch looks sick of your shit. So, if you didn't know, if in order to evolve the Galarian Farfetch'd into Surfetch'd, uh, Farfetch needs to get. Oh, Jesus Christ. Farfetch needs to perform three uh, crits in one battle in order to evolve into a Surfetched. Three uh, critical hits. Sorry if that sounded. Yeah. But if uh, Wild Farfetch have a 50% chance of holding the, the big leak item, which increases their critical rate by two stages, uh, so that helps. Plus, you can teach it the TR focus energy to, you know, do even more criticals. Also, how does one, how does NK evolve in this one? <laughs> I'm just taking my switch out of the dock. I have no idea how NK evolves. No, you before you had to turn your DS upside down, but I am not certain anymore. All right, I guess I have to go in here. Oh, jeez. That looked fun. Your job is to defeat the... My job is to defeat the Reckless Gym Challengers. Gym Trainer Simon. Hitmon Lee... Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, it was a critical hit.
50s. When we, when we do crits, they don't even fucking matter. The Pokemon would have died in an exit anyway. Hitmonchan? Oh, jeez. Finally. Not that it matters now. Bay is cute and I like her stomach, you know. I'm a toned stomach. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for reminding me what it was like to be a gym challenger. Watch her feet when she walks. It looks like fish flopping out of water. They look so weird, huh? All right, we'll see. Jesus Christ. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Bea. Do you have any... Have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you are attacked? I think I'll just test that out, shall I? Oh boy, all right, here we go. Hit moon top. All right, let's get some, some home claws in this bitch. She really likes her revenge. Do plus two home claws. So if all of her Pokemon have revenge. Hmm. Ah, you bitch. You actual bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. To revive Corvin. Corvin Squire. I'm a terrible trainer. Let's uh let's roll for the burn. So it adds counter, too. Quick attack, counter, revenge. Don't worry, so you never stops giving you the fucking things. Alright, hold on. We're gonna hit him with this glare.
Take this time to heal up our Pokemon. Hopefully we can rely on some uh, Paralyze Hex. Okay, Coolio. And let's do the thing that I wanted to do from the start. If all of our Pokemon have revenge, then we gotta make sure that we kill them in one hit. And it should work as long as they're not faster than us. That's fine. We'll do it one more time. That's such a bastard strategy. <laughs> We're gonna, no, we'll do it one more time. Now we'll do it one more time. Sweeping time. That's a dark fighting type. We should be faster than it. Because if we're not, then, then we're f so fucked. Okay. Drill pack? Oh, yeah. Six. No, it's, that's 80. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Sir fetched. Oh, there he is. Look at him. So majestic. Goodbye. I'm a champ. Time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Oh boy, alright. Watch him be faster than us. Okay, thank God he isn't. If we're Dynamaxing first. Oh, it's 
Dynamaxing so much hype. Or she's the Gigantamax Machamp. Why does he look like a Dark Souls boss? Oh, thank God. Hey, look at my Hero Academia recheck. Well, we were a little bit under level for that, Jim. I feel like you're fighting fairy Pokemon as you led them to battle. It's a good thing we uh, hone claws for 10 turns. Thank you for the battle. You facing you gave me all, all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. I have a feeling that if that if Machamp did did anything on his turn, uh, my entire team would have died. <laughs> I hope that you'll well, you'll meet more trainers and have more matches in the future. <clears throat> and I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Turn Scott, congratulations on defeating Leader, Leader Bayet. Take this team to remember your victory by revenge. Oh wow. What a surprise. Fighting uniform. Val Wark. Is that Sonya? Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stowanside? It's said to tell the story of the hero of Geller as well. Though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Kaboom. Well, this is an explosion. What in the world is that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Yamper. I'll, I'll go look as soon as I heal my battered Pokemon. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be... Oh, I wouldn't want to be like a Pokemon that was, you know, trained by me. If I if I was a Pokemon, I wouldn't want me as a trainer. I think that's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> I let I let these guys die far too often. <laughs> oh hey, hyper potions. Those are my hundred eight of them. Jesus Christ. Let's buy ten. I would hate to be trained by you. Yeah, yeah, me too. Being trained by Blake is fun. Jesus. Also, I got Frostmaw. Oh. That's that's going to be the fifth member of our team. I don't care if my team has two bug types. What was that noise? Thunder? No, it couldn't have been. Well, Sonya ran that way, so we should probably run that way, too. Took forever to evolve. <laughs> Oh, Max Drive, nice. 
What's going on up there? I don't know. Have me the young protagonist look. I've seen you before. Are you gym challenger? Yeah. Max friendship at night? I didn't know that at the time. Oh, jeez. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. Oh, this guy. Fucking Sasuke. <laughs> We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kaparaja? Kaparaja. Uh, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for the chance to help him find wishing stars. Alright, so if it max venture at night, so I gotta get... I should probably catch its pre-evolved form in like a friend ball or some shit. Oh my, you again. Yeah, me again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see. So, do you have some cunning in you? So you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Man's finna battle? The snow me find are at level 40? Jeez, level 40. God damn. Delusion. Oh, his uh, Siliosis so, uh, finally evolved. We'll have uh, we'll, we'll we'll swap out. To give Santa Scorch some love, since she needs some levels on her. That shouldn't do much. Never mind. Bug doesn't resist psychic, I guess. Snome is cute as fuck. Hmm, I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Gotharita. I think that's a pure psychic type. You would think that it's a dark type. Oh! Oh, thank God. Alright, so she, she's faster than us. Uh, we're gonna send out... Silicobra, take the hit. That was a crit? That did nothing! Now we can change back into... Not back. We're going to change into uh, Dreadnought. Damage. Oh, if only you had strong jaws, that would hit. My Spartan move simply splendid. Wouldn't you say? Psybeam? Eats those. Eats those. Om nom nom, delicious, nutritious. Oh yeah, that's because during the sandstorm, uh, Dreadnought also has a special defense boost. So that's pretty great. Can't wait to see the Gen 9 regional variant of Meowth is. We're going to have more, there's going to be more Meowth variants than there is going to be Eevee evolutions. I want, to, I want that to sink in. Meowth is a new Eevee. So 
Sudden Scorch, which learns Slam? Hmm. Seventy-five accuracy for eighty power. Fuck that. Hell no. Ponyta. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I let you keep me from everything I want? Remember when Ponyta was super effective against bug type Pokemon? And now it isn't? And now, and now it isn't. And now bug types tear it to shreds. Isn't that crazy? It used to run through bug types, but not anymore. <laughs> which is super, which is crazy. I'm gonna buy a ponytail. Damn. You didn't have to do ponytail like that, Dreadnought. Has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. All right, I'll wait here for you to go to the Pokemon Center. Why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shelter the future of the Galar region. Every time we fought, I have won. I have swept. Challenger Bede. I think that's how. You, I I'm, I don't know if, if that's how you say his name. I might have been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. I can't believe you tried to use Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Get him! Who cares over some ancient uh, ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of Pokemon Simple Beam or A man with the rose. Uh, how do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Bede. Pains me have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural, a part of Galar's history, you show no love towards Galar. Get him! You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge! Go! Oh. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Damn. <laughs> you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Because you're a dick! Challenge better. I will be taking those wishing stars that you've gathered. He just had those two muscle men beat his ass. Ah, uh, Sonya. Scott, too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. Never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently, it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. If she says this nigga's name one more time, what an awful turn of events. I hope the <laughs> mural survived all that. What's up? Not a brilliant turn of events, but the runes were brought to the light for us to see. If Marnie is Ash's companion in the new series, I may actually watch it. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Pokemon? Right, more than any hero. 
there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be wielding a sword and a shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Uh, same as the tapestries. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only one statue at the Badoo Drop Inn? More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... Well, we're, we're playing Pokemon Sword, so... The sword is a Pokemon! Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like an important point in history. The sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, a sword and shield, were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. M my help? What the fuck did I do? I just... If with anything, it was Bede's help because he was about to. He, if it wasn't for me, he would have dis discovered this shit while the chairman was here. So I don't know what you're thanking me for. I have a couple. Well, I'm gonna give you a couple of these. So keep giving your best in the gym challenge, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Balloon Leah. What? Next, right? Is that how you pronounce it? I mean, two revives. Thanks. She really does keep giving me these. And she's hidden her in a stone size famous mural. They make two heroes and two Pokemon. Thank you. So I guess we'll, this seems like the only way to go for right now. Glenwood Tangle. Oh, this is where we would find the Galarian Ponyta if we were playing uh, Shield. Oh, but there's impotent. Look at them disappear into the dirt. Two full heels. It's crazy how he can still fight me from across there. Are you looking for mushrooms that give off light when you touch them? No, I'm not. Cook Derek. Mil curry. No curry. No surry? That's a fairy type. Fairy is weak against steel and... Steel. What else is fairy weak against? Fire? Is fairy weak against fire? <laughs> You're like 70. Jesus. Poison, yeah, party. Poison steel, and I think fire is resisting, resistant against fairy. Poison and steel, yeah, okay. That's right. Po uh, fire is resistant against fairy. So we don't have any poison type Pokemon, but that's fine. Drill pack. That did a fair amount. Acid armor. That's not gonna do shit because this next hit's gonna kill you regardless.
say this T. That's a ghost type. Ghost is weak against ghost and dark. And I think that's it. So I'll throw out Santa Scorch here. And Fairy. I think Fairy Fairy too. No, or maybe not. I forget. Genotic? Oh, this is a grass type. Grass poison, maybe? Or maybe just pure grass. Doesn't really matter. You're gonna take this damage from this bug bite. Oh, maybe it's not grass type. That just won't do anything. Quad resist that. Was flame wheel work? Okay, so that... So a second type must be a type that resists bug, then. Hey, a strong trainer. That's rarer than rare mushrooms. I, I, I guess. From what I heard, Pokemon don't spawn in the overworld in this map. So you like you gotta go around the the tall grass to catch them. Wait, did, is this the entrance? Yeah, I guess it is. Big root. Oh, hey, do you not take poison damage from inside the ball anymore? Because it's a fairy forest. You're a fairy forest. Darling couple Robert and Jacqueline. Nine tails and Curlia. Fairies always hide in legends. All right, so we'll use Drill Peck on Curlia, and we'll hit the Razor Shell on this Nine Tails. Strange, he wasn't, he didn't have, the fairy, oh, Jesus, that, that thing, uh, Ninetales isn't a fairy type, the, uh, Lolan version is, which is nice, I really like Lolan Ninetales. Sandstorm? No, I'm not gonna learn, yeah, because if it has, a. Uh, Sand spit. I don't think I'll, it'll need sandstorm. Good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. I think you can guess what I called mine. Was it Weiss? <laughs> God damn, can I get a flashlight? Snore. What does this do? A tactic can be used only if the user is asleep. The harsh noise may also make the target flinch. 
Is that a new move? Huh. Oh, so you can click these fucking mushrooms to get more light. I wish I knew that earlier. Got a strong jaw, Choodle. <laughs> I didn't even know Chudo could get strong jaw. I might have, I might, I probably would have, uh, fished for one if that was the case. If I knew that beforehand when I was looking for the Chudo. Indeed. Oh, what type is this? What type is this? It looks like it's a dark type. It might be fairy. Hit it with the drill peck. Oh, critical hit. Side beam. It was the second Choodle you caught. Are you going to use it on your team? Send out another NDD. Because uh, I really I really like Dreadnought. As soon as when I first saw the design of Dreadnought, I was like, yep, yeah, I'm using it. Disarming voice. Got a roly coly from a supply trade. It's a grotal mixed with a crocodile. G great. It's a snapping turtle, which is exactly. Snapping turtles are so cool. Jesus Christ! It's, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Just standing there looking at me. So this is Dark Fairy, huh? 36 or 38. God damn. Dark and Fairy would be weak against... Uh, s fighting? No. Would fighting? Would it be weak against fighting? I don't think so. Is it with the drill pack? False surrender. Oh. Steel poison fairy bug. Bug, you say? Bug, you say? Hey, you asshole, I thought you said it was weak against Bug. <laughs> Clearly lying. Got rid of my stupid weak choodle for a wooloo. <laughs> People really like wooloos. <laughs> All right, fairy resist bug, not the other way around. It's all right. Oh, that was a ledge there. There was a ledge there, Jesus Christ. U-turn. Oh, there's a really good move. 
I might teach that on uh, uh, Santa Scorch, or maybe Frost Moth when I get it, when I get him. If only the is it really dark for you guys? Like I think we're we're almost out of here, so.